which snowflake addition should we use if we want to enable time travel for up to 90 days so snowflake offers four additions depending on the usage requirements standard addition its introductory level or the entry level offering which provides unlimited access to snowflake's standard features what those are what are the standard features we could go to snowflake.com and look at those standard features and the next edition is enterprise edition along with the features of standard edition and services you'll get additional features which are required for a large-scale enterprise huge enterprises there is a third version called business critical edition this is also called as enterprise for sensitive data and this edition offers high level data protection for sensitive data to organization needs and the last version is the virtual private snowflake now this provides high level of security for organizations dealing with financial activities now coming back to the question time travel for up to 90 days which edition provides you the time travel for up to 90 days as you could see the enterprise edition business critical edition and the virtual private snowflake edition could give you the extended time travel for up to 90 days what is this time travel feature it enables accessing historic data that has been changed or deleted at any point within a defined period it is a powerful CDP, which is nothing but the continuous data protection feature, which ensures the maintenance and availability of your historic data. So what are the different things which we can perform using the time travel? We can restore tables, schemas and databases that have been dropped either by unanimous decision or as part of change management or even by mistake. Query data in the past that has since been updated or deleted create clones of entire tables, schemas, and database on or before a specific point in the past, of course, limited to 90 days. Now, once the defined time period has been elapsed, the data is moved into Snowflake's fail-safe, and there are multiple other actions that cannot be done once it moves to the fail-safe, right? So this addresses quite a lot of regular operational activities for example let's say let's say there is by mistake a table which has been dropped accidentally as part of an operation or a change management system of course if you have backups or snapshots it's easy to restore them but there is a lot of work involved it'll take at least few hours for you to get it back and then proceed with whatever actions you have right so with this option which snowflake provides we could get back the data of that particular period using this time travel feature. 